Welcome to Business Valuations, a channel dedicated to the education of the art and science of business valuations. The Capital Asset Pricing Model CAPM model is a widely accepted theory for understanding the relationship between risk and expected return in the securities market. It was developed in the 1960s and is widely used globally. Compared to the build-up approach, the model is part of capital market theory, which includes portfolio theory and the behavior of investors in capital markets. According to capital market theory, there are two types of risks that investors face, systematic risk and unsystematic risk. Systematic risk, also known as market risk, it reflects the uncertainties of future cash flows caused by market-wide events that affect the broader stock market, such as wars, recessions, and inflation. It is measured by comparing the movements of a company's stock to a broad market index, and it cannot be diversified away because it reflects the broad market. It is measured using beta, which describes the correlated volatility of an asset in relation to the market. Unsystematic risk. On the other hand, unsystematic risk is not correlated with the market. It includes risks that are specific to a certain industry or company within an industry, such as lack of management depth, outdated technology, and poor quality control. Capital market theory assumes that a careful investor would diversify away this risk by investing in a portfolio of stocks. The CAPM model describes the market relationships that result when investors act in accordance with portfolio theory, meaning that they trade return for risk along a capital market line that defines the optimal way to construct investment portfolios. Its relevance to business valuations is that business investments are a subset of the investment opportunities available in the overall capital market. So the prices of businesses should be subject to the same economic forces and relationships that determine the prices of other investment assets. The CAPM model is expressed in the following formula below. Advantages of using CAPM the CAPM model is frequently utilized by valuators who see it as an unbiased approach to calculating rates of return on equity. These valuators consider the CAPM derived rates of return to be more defensible because the input data can either be obtained from external sources or calculated using publicly available information. However, it should be noted that a significant amount of professional judgment is still required in using the CAPM model as the company premium remains an important factor in the model and it must be determined if the application of CAPM is appropriate in the given circumstances. Disadvantages The CAPM model has been criticized for its lack of predictive ability and for some of its assumptions, such as the assumption of perfect diversification and the assumption that the historic relationship between securities returns and the market will continue into the future. Some of the disadvantages of using the CAPM model include the need for professional judgment, the assumption of perfect diversification, the use of minority pricing data, and the challenges of applying the model to small and thinly traded firms. Despite these limitations, the CAPM model is still widely used as a basis for determining discount and capitalization rates, particularly for valuing small, private companies. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, leave a comment and subscribe for more upcoming videos.